could the success strategies of the most successful boxers be compared to that of the most successful business executives? Mm, wow. That is a great, complex question. When I worked with Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather, and Manny Pacquiao, and I use them because they're the most recent athletes that I worked with of, of great stature, I viewed them as businesses. I didn't view them as fighters, and I didn't view their fights as one-offs one night. I actually developed relationships with them where we had hoped that we would work for 10 years together, and in, we did in all three cases, and that we were on a, a trajectory of growth and expansion of their brand. So I was just as interested in what they did outside the ring, what appearances they made, what publicity, what marketing strategies we had, where we took them in between their fights to maintain their profile and expand their audiences, develop a core, in Oscar's case, the Latino audience, in Floyd's case, the African-American audience, in Manny's case, not just Filipino, but international fans. And we then took technology growth for each of those fighters, combined it with their core fans, and expanded to the superstar status that they received. It was no different, the way I did it, than anybody that was running a successful business venture. The CEO of a company would do the same thing that I was doing with that product. And I think that was why I had such uh, wonderful relationships with the promoters I worked with because they knew that I had a bigger vision and a bigger plan all the time. And yes, we had to maximize the revenue for a particular fight, but it, even when we worked on one fight promotion, it was always about how that could carry us for years and years forward. And I used to think two, three years ahead, even in the matchups we would make with the promoters. Right. Um, and it made for uh, a very, very successful and rewarding uh, career for me and a very economically rewarding one for the promoters and the fighters. Do you think what are three principles that athletes that are successful and businessmen that are successful share three different personality traits or something about them? Yeah, that's a, another excellent question. First of all, endless energy, endless energy. I remember a CEO once told me that what differentiated him from others was not his intelligence level, that at the top, everybody was great. It was the fact that he needed two hours of sleep a night, no more, so he could outwork everybody. Mm -hmm. Athletes are the same way. They have to work. Floyd Mayweather works in a gym. He worked for decades. I never saw an athlete apply his craft and develop his craft like Floyd did. Oscar did the same thing compared to other athletes. Floyd was remarkable as well. Manny, the same thing. They had nonstop, endless devotion to being the best. Not good, the best. So that was critical for them. Um, that was their second attribute, not just the energy, but the devotion. They had to be the best. People like to be the best. Right. People strive to be the best, but having to be the best right. is a different level of commitment. Um, Floyd, Manny, Oscar, they had that. Um, and I think third is that they had something deep down inside in their backgrounds that taught them that when it came time to have to overcome, they could do it. They had an arsenal deep inside to reach to. Right. Um, in the cases of those three athletes, it's where they were from. Right. They came from humble beginnings, all very different, but all three, three from very humble and very difficult beginnings. And they had to claw, scratch, and learn as young kids to pull themselves up by the bootstraps and lift themselves out of where they were to get ahead. And um, they had to draw upon that throughout their careers many times. Many of them switched promoters. They had to make big decisions as young men if they were going to switch promoters or switch television networks they had if, or switch manage, managers or publicists. And they had to take control of that. If they left it to someone else, it wasn't going to maximize right. their interest. It was going to maximize someone else's interest. Right. Drawing down deep from what it took to deal with those, those moments, those critical moments in their lives, which they did as children, right help them in their adult lives and in their careers to be the best.